Satellite-based precision landing is seen as a key technology to support airports struggling to cope with the dramatic growth in global air travel. Honeywell SmartPath is the world's only certified ground-based augmentation system. It provides a more precise, efficient, flexible and cost-effective alternative to the legacy instrument landing systems, ILS. In Europe, airports including Bremen, Frankfurt, Malaga and Zurich have already installed the system. And elsewhere in the world, major international airports including Chennai, Newark, Shanghai Pudong and Sydney are also using SmartPath. The advantage of GBAS over ILS is when an ILS system is installed, each ILS system works for one runway. With one GBAS transmitter, we're able to have precision approaches to every runway at that airport. SmartPath also supports curved precision approaches and is currently certified for Cat1 landings, which enables aircraft to land with a half a mile visibility at a 200 foot decision height. Now, Honeywell has been taking the system a step further by conducting a large number of validation flight trials and research into GBAS, CAT2 and CAT3 approaches as part of the Cesar 9.12 project. In addition to pilots, this is also good news for airports, air traffic managers and airline operators. In 2014, Zurich Airport had about 270 thousand aircraft movements. Fortunately, our demand is uh, still increasing, so GBAS is an important mean in increasing our capacity. Skyguard is the air navigation service provider of Switzerland. Where we want to go is CAT 3 operation, which means down to zero with no visual sight of the runway. There will be a lot of benefits uh, when uh, we will be able to secure GBAS CAT 2 and 3 operation. As part of Cesar's augmented approaches to land consortium, Honeywell has also been demonstrating how the technology can be brought together with RNP to reduce the workload for pilots and bring further benefits tailored to the airport, such as reduced noise or fuel efficiency. So we have flown about 150 approaches with our Falcon 900 EX and actually flying the aircraft on the final approach to about 50 feet. We're collecting data to make sure that we can show the benefits that we're expecting to have for the airport, for the airlines and for the people living close to the airport. It will make the pilot's task much easier if we can do these combined approaches which are called RMP to GLS where you could be cleared for an approach many miles from the airport. The air traffic controller will know exactly what your airspeed and ground track will be and probably won't have to talk to you except once more and that's to clear you to land.